Hello guys, in this video I will be looking at Kassel and Berger chapter 1 problem 8 solution. This also refers to example 1.2.7 where we have a dartboard and like in this question we are assuming that it's going to hit the dartboard with uh, one, one like 100% chance. Okay, right. It's not going to hit any of these regions. No, no. Like it's definitely going to hit the that one. Okay, right now. Let's look at the question. It's asking derive the general formula for the probability of scoring I point. And they have given us that probability of scoring I points is equal to area of region I divided by area of region, area of the dartboard. Now, this is unknown. We don't know this yet. We don't know area of the dartboard yet. But like finding area of the dartboard is really easy. So we'll do that first. Area of dartboard. This is equal to pi. And they have given us this, this radius. It is r. They have given it as some r unknown constant so we know area of a circle is pi r square so we found this right now this is known next we have to find area of region i let's see how to find area of area of region i right for this i'll take an example let's say i want to find the area of this region one okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this full area of i circle okay so i'm going to take the area of the i circle this is area of i circle i need area of i region okay then i'm going to subtract area of this inner circle right so then i'm going to subtract this right now can you guys see the yellow colored region left out that is the area of region i what we need so i'm going to subtract area of i circle minus area of i plus one circle right okay now so how do you find area of i circle it is pi r squared pi it doesn't change now i need the radius of that circle right how do you find that? Now, here we can see that total area is total radius is r and it is divided into five equal regions. One, two, three, four, five. So area of this one tiny tiny region is uh, this the length of one tiny region is r over five. Okay. So if you want to find the area of the ith circle, you would have to find so we need the radius so this would be r over 5 times now uh, let's take look at an example for this okay let's say you want to find the area of uh, region 1 okay how do you find this this is equal to radius of region 1 this is equal to r over 5 into 5 right that means you would get this whole area how do you okay then like if you want to find the radius of uh, circle 2 this is going to be r over 5 into 1 2 3 4 4 right so now you can come up with a formula for this this should be 6 minus 1 this should be 6 minus 2 likewise so you would take 6 minus i squared because this is the radius now minus area of i plus 1 circle it becomes pi times radius r over 5 it doesn't change 6 minus instead of i now you have i plus 1 right then you are going to square this whole thing so now this becomes pi r squared over 5 squared 6 minus i squared minus pi r squared over 5 squared okay so this becomes 6 minus i plus 1 this becomes 6 minus i minus 1 which is equal to uh, 6 minus 1 it becomes 5 minus i 
So this becomes phi minus i for things squared. So I, you can take out phi r squared over phi out. So inside you are left with 6 minus i whole thing squared phi minus i whole thing squared, right? Okay. Now you know one as well. Now you can find what is the probability of scoring i points. Probability of scoring i points. This is equal to 1 over 2. This is 1, right? And this is uh, 2. Okay. So this is equal to phi r squared over 5. Uh, 5 squared, okay. Uh, 6 minus i squared minus phi minus i squared. Then you have to divide by area of the dartboard, which is phi r squared. This phi r squared and phi r squared get cancelled. So, probability of scoring i points, it, it is 6 minus i whole thing squared minus phi minus i whole thing squared over 5 squared. Okay, right? Right, that's the answer. Uh, let me use another color and look. Right, so you can, you can see, clearly see what I'm doing. And this is squared. This is squared. Right. <clears throat> Okay, now we'll move on to the next question, All right? Now the question is, uh, show that probability of scoring i points is a decreasing function. That is, as the points increase, the probability of uh, scoring them decreases, All right? Let's see. Now earlier, we found that probability of scoring i points now we want to show that this is a decreasing function. We want to show that as i increases, that means as i goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as i increases, we want to show that probability decreases. Right? That's, that's the goal of this question. Probability of scoring i points, we found it to be 6 minus i whole thing squared minus 5 minus i whole thing squared divided by Five squared. Let me simplify this and uh, remove the brackets. Six minus i squared. This becomes six squared minus uh, two times six, twelve i. This becomes plus i squared. Okay, minus. This is five squared minus two into five, ten i, plus i squared over five squared. Right. So this becomes six squared. It is thirty six minus. 12i plus i squared minus 25 plus 10i minus i squared over 25. Right. <clears throat> this positive i squared and negative i squared get cancelled. 36 minus 25 is 11. Then negative 12i, positive 10i, it becomes negative 2i over 25. So this is probability of scoring i points. Right, so this is uh, probability of scoring i points. Okay, let's say, uh, let me say this is x, I'll, I'll rename this as x is uh, scoring uh, i points. Okay, right, and so you, uh, this, this is my random variable. And it can take uh, values from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Okay, right. Now, I want to show that this is a decreasing function, right? So, using, I mean, this is really, really easy, okay? So, this is, so, probability of, let's say, I want to find probability of scoring one point. Probability of scoring one point. I'm sorry if, if this is not clear, but like, let me do this calculation over here, right? So this probability of x taking, like, first value it can take is 1. This is equal to, now you have a function, 11 minus 2 times 
this is 1 over 25. Okay, that means uh, I will name this as probability of x equal i. This is equal to 11 minus 2i over 25, right? So when you simplify this, you get uh, 11 minus 2 over 25, you get this as 0.36. So this is a probability, so you cannot get anything. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what other values we get, right? So using Excel, what I did was I found like since this is a very uh, small calculation, we have probability of x equal i is equal to 11 minus 2i over 25, right? Using this formula, I found all those values. So the probability start from 0 0.36 then it decreases up to 0 0.28, then it goes to 0 0.2, then it goes to 0 0.12, then it goes to 0 0.14. Then, uh, if you plot the probabilities, since, since this is discrete, like it is not a continuous function, it is a discrete function, so this is your x, when your random variable x takes value 1 point, the probability is 0.36, so this is something you are like fx, these are the probabilities. Okay, these are the probabilities and these are the x values, right? <clears throat> then when you, the probability of scoring two points, it is point, uh, 0.28. Likewise, it makes sense, right? That means, like in a way it makes sense. Why? This is one point region. So it is, it is easier to hit this like big area. But like as we go down, to score five points, you have to hit in this small area so it, it makes sense that the probability of scoring five points is the lowest okay now we can clearly see <clears throat> area or the probability is decreasing as i increases next okay show that probability of scoring is a probability function according to kolmogoro axioms right uh, given a sample space s <clears throat> An associated sigma algebra, uh, a probability function is a function P with domain beta that satisfies um, this probability. So this is probability of A should be greater than or equal to zero. That means all the probabilities should be greater than uh, zero. We can clearly see that. Okay, right. If you if you look at here. <clears throat> Probability of scoring one point, this is greater than zero, 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 this is greater than zero. Okay, all these probabilities are this one, all the probabilities, probability of x equal to i is this is less than one, this is less than zero. So this is satisfied. Right now. <clears throat> Probability of sample space. This is probability of sample space. This is probability of hitting the hitting the board. Probability of hitting the board means either it can hit in region I, uh, that means region 1, or it can uh, hit at region 2, region 3, region 4, or region 5, right? So, <clears throat> If you add up all these, like, I mean, we don't even have to add up because it clearly says it only hits this region, right? We, de we definitely know that it, is, it only hits this region, so it is 100%. Or you can simply add all these probabilities, right? <clears throat> if you add all those probabilities, this becomes probability of x equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 2 plus up to probability of x equal to 5 and if you add, add all these probabilities 0 0.36, 0 0.28, 0 0.2, 0 0.12, 0 0.04 0 you get 1. So the probability of sample space is equal to 1. It is also satisfied. Next, if a1, a2 are pairwise disjoint then probability of union of i equal uh, 1 to infinity ai is equal to you would add the probabilities right let's take an example of this let's say you want to find the probability of hitting region 
uh, scoring points one o. So what does this mean? O means I have. I think I have told this. So O means union. N means intersection, right? Okay. <clears throat> so this is probability of one union. Two. How do you find the union? This is probability of one plus using the addition rule. This is probability of two minus you would subtract the intersection between these two uh, regions. Right. Now, if you if you go back here. <clears throat> a dart can hit either region 1 or either region 2, right? It cannot hit both. There is no intersection, okay? I mean, yeah, they are like in, in, in any way, like it would be either belonging to region 1 or region 2. There's no, there's no intersection between those two, okay? Right? So this is 0. So this, this comes down to probability of 1 simply a probability of scoring one point plus probability of scoring two point. okay so <clears throat> that's it so we have proved all these three axioms right thank you guys for listening and mm, comment if you guys learned something and if you if you if you guys want me to do some more questions with some from other textbooks or if there are any suggestions let me know okay right. thank you